you're a diabetic, you are actually of higher risk of stroke. Professor Fagan, how is diabetes connected to stroke and how can we manage our diabetes? Yes, as you said, diabetes is a very important risk factor for stroke. It increased the risk of stroke by about two times. And diabetes, uh, basically, it is um, an excessive uh, amount of glucose in your blood. And it could be for different reasons. One is that uh, your uh, pancreas produce insufficient amount of insulin. And that's one possible uh, cause of diabetes and another possible cause that your uh, body cells are not receptive enough to insulin. And uh, glucose uh, is not metabolized as it should be. And you get excessive um, amount of glucose in your blood. And what it leads to is to hardening of your arteries, again, building up plaques, atherosclerosis. That's the main uh, consequences of diabetes. Um, it could, diabetes, there are two types of diabetes. One is kind of um, inherited, type one diabetes, when from the birth, um, babies, children develop uh, that um, diabetes type uh, because of the, they don't produce insulin, basically. That's the main cause for, the, for that. And uh, type two diabetes or diabetes in adults, which uh, could be because of the two reasons I mentioned uh, before. Um, it is important to recognize that uh, a person has a diabetes. There are some symptoms of diabetes, uh, which um, are most common symptoms are uh, losing weight, for example, for uh, unknown reasons, um, uh, feeling thirsty all the time, uh, going to toilet uh, during the night time several times. Um, of course, it's all um, um, subjective symptoms. There are objective signs of diabetes, like uh, measuring the level of sugar in your blood and some other tests doctors can uh, prescribe to determine whether you have diabetes or not. Um, there, um, the best way to manage diabetes, of course, is to avoid it altogether. And again, healthy lifestyle, healthy diet, maintaining a healthy weight is the best way to uh, prevent development of diabetes. But when diabetes is developed, again, the emphasis is on lifestyle modification, improving your diet, limiting um, uh, fatty food, sugary uh, uh, foods, um, more fruits, um, vegetables particularly, not so much fruits for diabetic people because fruits also contain um, fructose, uh, which is metabolized into glucose in the body. So it's uh, also uh, have excessive um, effect on um, blood sugar in your blood. So vegetables are preferable in terms of the, um, of the products. And physical activity. Physical activity importance uh, for uh, managing diabetes cannot be uh, overestimated. It's extremely important. Maintaining your healthy weight is important. And if these measures are not helpful, uh, then there are medications, of course, um, and a range of medications. Your health professional can prescribe it um, to you if you have diabetes, which is not managed by diet. But, but the first, all health professionals prefer 
If it's not extremely severe diabetes, uh, then start with lifestyle modification. And in many people, it is sufficient uh, to control diabetes. Right, so as we've already said uh, before, change your lifestyle, uh, include exercise in your daily routine, um, have a healthy diet, and um, make sure you talk to your GP um, about how to manage it best if you do have diabetes and how to keep your uh, risk of stroke low um, if normal um, exercise and, and a change of diet is not sufficient for you. So make sure you look after yourself. Um, have a look at our hashtag don't be the one NZ stroke prevention campaign on our website www.strokecentral.org.nz or visit our Facebook page um, for further updates. Stroke prevention is as always key.